She set it up at the moment so that when I arm it on the transmitter, which is uh, press to the right, it's actually idling, um, doing that so that it doesn't stop fully on um, on when it when it's doing left hand spins, which should make it accelerate a bit quicker. Of course, I've got to be quick on both throttle hold and also disarming it in the case of a crash. So then we're armed. So. Two revs. Okay, so I'm not getting a strong start up on that. That's, it should be kicking in there, it's not. So I'm start up power. Drop down a bit more. Uh, first of all, just check how that tail goes with kind of slow scale design. There's any more pop for the 14 tooth there now. A little bit of jiggle just coming down. To drop the um, to drop something off cyclic or the vibration. That's fine. So I go up to bank two. So uh, just try. Uh, still there. Hmm. I haven't cured it. So the other thing, maybe this um, ESC is not quite man enough for that motor for those conditions. But uh, okay, so we go to bank three. So this is more severe. If anything, it's likely to be worse. Kick left. Bed. It's a quick 500 degree pyro right there. So. Go the other way. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is pretty wild. It feels a lot lighter in the air with the um, 14 tooth pinion, I have to say. Still with a 1500 battery. Today with the wind to be uh, flicking it over, I think. Okay, 